Welcome back here to the Jordy Collada Show, live on this Tuesday morning, presented by Go Chevrolet. Stop in and see the boys out there in Laplace, or if you need a used car on Florida Boulevard, right here in Baton Rouge, online, G-E-A-U-X, Chevrolet.com. LSU basketball fans are buzzing over the last couple of weeks as Will Wade has been doing work. My man has turned this roster into a top 10 team going into the season next year after the addition of Efton Reed yesterday. Uh, Tari Eason, his paperwork came through uh, from Cincinnati. Xavier Pinson, the transfer guard out of Missouri, but nobody got the LSU basketball fan base as fired up as Adam Miller did. Miller, a 6'3 combo guard who started all 31 games last season for Illinois, busted out in the tournament as he scored 28 in the opening round for the, uh, for the Illini. If you looked at the transfer portal rankings, nobody had Miller outside of the top three. Some people had him number one. A lot of services had him right there at number two. He decides to come to LSU and the basketball fan base is, uh, they are buzzing here this morning, and we have time to catch up with Adam Miller here on this Tuesday morning. Very grateful for your time, man. Good morning. How are you? Uh, good morning. I'm good. Uh, headed to a workout now, so uh, I guess we're starting the day out right. Hell yeah. We heard from Will Wade yesterday, and that's the way he describes you as a gym junkie, uh, just a gym rat. Couldn't keep you out of the gym. Uh, w- what is your daily regimen like? Uh, most, most of the time I get, give me two workouts in, uh, give me a lift in, but, you know, I go, go on my day, try to get it out the way early, you know, work in, then, you know, I eat like twice a day, try to give me some protein here and there, but, you know, just, I just fall in love with the grind, you know, fall in love with it, you know, but I got a chip on my shoulder, so I'm working extra hard. What is your emphasis this off season in improving what in your game? Uh, I've been improving a lot on ball screens, uh, improving my my ball handling, and just also improving my shot. Really, my all around game because I see myself as an all around player. So, like I, I try to refine everything when I work out. When I watch you play, you you remind me of of Jamal Murray. I, I hope you, you you don't take that with any disrespect. I know you're your own man, but your game no. <laughs> reminds me of Jamal Murray with your ability to kind of create from from distance, but you're athletic enough to just break them down and get to the rim. H- how would you describe your game? Yeah, I, I say that that like that that true combo, like like a CJ Dame mix. Like mm-hmm. really, I try to I try to variate my um. My offensive style, you know, I try to make sure I stay versatile and just try to do everything, you know. Uh, I feel like having a shot is, is one of the best things. I always try to have a shot, but y'all always got to get to the rim, too. So, you know, just having uh, – being good at everything, you know, is, is what I try to do. Um, why LSU? It seems like LSU gives you an opportunity to be that person, right? I mean, just kind of be yourself as a basketball player. Is that what made most sense about LSU for you? Yeah, it made a lot of sense. You know, I really wanted to my decision looking at um, where I was going to be most comfortable. You know, what coach I felt most comfortable with, what coach I felt most serious with. You know, me and Will Wade, uh, we got locked in from the start. Uh, we talked about basketball, we talked about games, we watched some NBA games together, we talked about some college games, we talked about college period. And, you know, I just kind of got that bond with them. And you know, it was like, okay, I feel like I can trust them, and I want to, I want to, I want to come in and lead, lead a team. I want to help a team, you know, get to that stage, get to the, get to March Madness, go deep in the tournament. And you know, I feel like I can help Will Wade do that. You know, uh, just from the start, you know, we got a close bond. I feel like I'll, I'll run through a wall for him. So you know, I'm ready to come in, lead, and do what I got to do. Wow. Um, another prospect's dad called him the Elon Musk of college basketball. I'd imagine that you've had. <laughs> You've had every college basketball in the country blowing up your phone over the last two weeks. What is it about yeah. Wade specifically that makes him stand out through this process? Because it seems like he is relating very well to you guys. His message seems to to be to be getting through. No, nah, for sure. Um, I kind of feel like I've seen him do it uh, with Cam. Me and Cam, uh, we're close. Like always with the Cam is like one of the players I, like that played like me in a way. I feel like he scored. Cam is a great scorer. I feel like I still say a little bit more than Cam, but if there's anybody, like, I'd say in our class that I looked at and I was like, okay, I, I like their game. I think we're kind of similar. It'd probably be Cam. And I know Cam's situation. I feel like we kind of got the same situation. So he did it with somebody like me. 
And, um, you know, he's, he's going to allow me to do what I got to do. And uh, I feel like that's, that's the best key, you know, getting that relationship because I'm, I'm, ready, to, I'm ready to just go through, go, go through everything and win at this point. Uh, are you going to wear 44 at LSU? Yes, I will wear 44. Wow. Do you know how special that number is to the program? A lot. Yeah, man. Big, huge. Um, that, that, that is cool because I know that it's a blessing to be able to wear that number. I bet, I bet. I I know that Miss, uh, Miss Faye, uh, Sims, who is, is, is Wade's mother, uh, approved Mm -hmm. that. I know that she was asked on whether or not that that would be cool. And, and and she green lit that. So I know that that's got to mean a lot to you because she and, and her family and Wade obviously mean so much to our community. Sure. Um, what was, what was this process like? What was, what was being in the transfer portal for a player like you like because you, you, you come with so much cachet. I mean, as we said, coming in, they rated the transfer portal guys, and out of 1,400 players that entered, uh, you were either one, two, or three in all of those services. What was this What was this process like for you? The process for me was, it was kind of like senior year again, but this time I had like a, it's like I had a, like a manual this time. Like oh. I kind of knew what to expect, yeah. kind of knew what to take in, you know. I look at college from a different viewpoint than I was in the scene. You know, I've been through it. Uh, I've been through the days, the days you didn't want to go through, but the days you kept grinding, the days you didn't feel like doing it, but you keep your head on and you keep going hard. So I kind of knew what to expect. I kind of knew um, what people would say. I kind of knew, um, you know, just, just the all-around aspect of what people uh, would tell me that I would want to hear. You know, I feel like um, – there was there were some schools at the end and I was like, man, it could go either way. But you know, um, like I said, that relationship I got with away and you know the situation I viewed at LSU. And I always was a fan growing up at LSU. I feel like it was the best situation, and I'm 110 percent locked in with that. Wade was very impressed with your leadership skills, and, and not just on the floor. He mentioned it yesterday when we interviewed him here, and then he said it a couple of times in breaking you down. He's very impressed that you do things off of the floor, like charity work with children. Can you explain to our listeners what you have going on away from basketball? Uh, yeah, um, well, I got to give most of the credit to my mother. But me and my mom, we've held a, Ace Wolf, um, a free Ace Wolf basketball camp back in Peoria. We held one in Chicago uh, this year. I'm a freshman. Uh, I was a freshman in college. So this, that, yeah, that was my fifth year doing yeah. that. My fifth year. Yeah, wow. I'm, my fifth year into it. Yeah, that's a lot. I look up like, wow, yeah, it's my fifth year. I'm not even really, you know, grown yet. <laughs> but, no, bro, um, you're still a baby, man. You act like you old. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> uh, um, I had uh, um, toy, a toy drive for Christmas for some kids down in Peoria. And I had a – my mom My mom held a girls' basketball camp in Peoria too. So, you know, just giving back, you know, uh, as much as we can. You know, we do little things here and there. But my mom really helps me come up with those I, that, those ideas because, you know, I'd I be so focused on the court that my mom might hit me with boom, boom, and I'm like, okay, let's do it. Yeah. You know, I'm the lazy guy. My mom was like, you know, let's get up and do this. And, you know, she helps me get up and do it. And when I get there, you know, I just take over and do what I do because I, I love the game. So, you know, I love helping people. And I, I love how the game helps people that don't even play the game. So that's how I view the game. And that's how I view uh, the support because you know I feel like people supported me that way, so I want to give back too. Uh, there are a lot of lazy people listening to this, uh, listening to you going to your first workout of two today, thinking, "Man, if he's lazy, what the hell am I?" Uh, have <laughs> you find it differently? Have you uh, have you been to Baton Rouge? Have you been to South Louisiana yet? Nah, I haven't. But everybody oh. told me I'm gonna love it. I feel like I feel like I'm gonna love it. Yeah. I'm, I, I don't know. I, I, I I'm ready. To, I'm ready to go down there though. I'm telling you, I'm ready. Um. I, I imagine that you get this a lot of uh, of, of up your way, um, but Illinois was was considered to be uh, one of the the top teams. Why, why did you choose to transfer? Um, my main decision was choosing to transfer was I don't know. There was a lot of speculation going around and a lot of news, but it really it really wasn't like any anything like where I'm just like oh because I, I, I felt like Illinois was a good situation for me, you know. Once I uh, found out uh, I could put my name in the transfer report and they could re-recruit me, I was like, okay. I, and just value my options. I was like, okay, I'm just going to see, see who it is. And, you know, um, you know that kind of time from everybody, you know. I just weighed my, weighed my, weighed my options at that point, you know, because at this point, uh, this is 
was just serious to me, and I wanted to make it, make sure I made the best decision. I felt like going to LSU was the best decision. Uh, you were uh, you were one of the top freshmen, obviously, in, in the Big Ten. Uh, LSU picked up the top freshman from the AAC. They picked up one of the top guards in the SEC in Xavier Pinson. Uh, they picked up a five-star forward yesterday in Efton Reed. What do you make of this roster? I got you guys as a top ten team in the country going into the season. What what is your expectation? For sure, um, I, I at this point I don't see I don't see rankings I don't see top ten because I feel like that softens you up. I want us to be able to from day one come in and work hard. You know, I feel like our practice is going to be battles, definitely strong battles. You know, it, it's going to take work first. So me, I'm not even worried about the rankings at this point. I want to I want to earn something first. That's how I feel about it. Adam Miller, let me be the uh, the first one out of the LSU basketball family to welcome you to South Louisiana. Our state is fired up to wear uh, to see you wearing the purple and gold, and can't wait to watch you hoop, man. Uh, have a great summer and safe travel down to South Louisiana. Appreciate that. Thank you, man. Absolutely, man. Take care. There is uh, there's Adam Miller checking in this morning. Very impressive.